Hey guys, welcome back to Anju Spice Garden. It's your boy Dave, and today we have something special for you: lobsters, lobsters in the air fryer, and a, a little bit uh, steaming. So, a quick background: we were at the supermarket yesterday, and we saw some of these bad boys. I've never made lobster before. I've had it; it's great. So, I figured we'll take a few and uh, try to, you know, use the air fryer. When I got here, I had no idea what to do with it. So, I did a little, a little uh, research and uh, tested one out. And it came out pretty good, so I wanted to share that with you. So come on, let's take a look at what we're gonna do. Okay, so here we have the, these are pretty pretty small size, I think it's about a pound, pound and a half lobsters. Um, so a couple things here, as you can see, we already sampled one here. Hey guys, right here. I don't have my tail or arms anymore. So as you know, we we, we from um, Kerala, South India. We don't like to we eat a lot of seafood. And we don't like to throw anything out. So we're trying to figure out what, what can we do with the lobster head. I know traditionally in the West, they don't eat it. They, they discard it. But uh, I'm thinking about maybe some sort of soup or something we can figure out or fry it. That's, that's what we're going to do, probably. So we'll get back to that. So a couple things. Basically, the main part, what we're going to eat is basically the tail right here. And these things come off relatively easy. And you got your big boy claws. As you can see... They put the rubber band on it because you know these these are live as of yesterday, and you gotta take it out. Oh, so uh, uh, one more thing. So these came live. So yesterday night, you know, I took these suckers out and I was gonna start preparing it, and then I saw it moving. It was twitching. I don't know. I don't like killing animals. I don't like killing bugs. I don't like killing anything. You know. I feel like you know they're, they're my relatives from a thousand years ago. That's a joke. Um, anyway, so I felt bad and I, I checked YouTube. What some people do is. Uh, I, I know some people boil it and all that, but they just put it in the freezer uh, for a couple hours and then it just kind of, you know, goes to sleep permanently. So that's what I ended up doing. So yesterday was live fresh. Today we put it overnight, so I guess you can call it frozen. But uh, we left it outside today. It's hot outside and it's ready to go. So just getting back to this. So, you know, let's try to separate, uh, let's try to separate one of these. So it's, it's very simple. And remove the tail. Just lift it straight and twist. Ooh, we got some water coming out of here. And there you go. We got all the guts in there. And now for the claw, same thing. Twist. Put that out of the way. And the other other side. Take the claw. Twist. There you go. There you go. You got your claw and you got your tail. Voila. Keep this set. the three pieces out. What we're gonna do with the tail, we're gonna uh, cut the top open, split it, add a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna put it in the air fryer. For the claws, we're gonna steam it here. I got a pot here, two inches of water, put a little salt in there, and we're gonna steam this for about 12 to 15 minutes. Air fryer is gonna be 370 for about seven minutes. For the tail, it's, it's pretty straight simple. People use a knife to cut it. I thought the, this comes pretty handy, the shear. Simple, just put it in here, just cut. Although the shell is not that hard, you can uh, literally just go down the middle, lie, cut that. And then you wanna just make sure, oh, look at that, that looks great. You wanna spread it out. There you go. Come on out a little bit. Come on out. And there's one more thing in here. I guess I'm kind of breaking this. You want to take off this intestine right here. This is part of its intestine. You want to take off. Voila. Yuck. Yuck. Take that out of there. There's a little bit more in there. Just pull that back way out. Okay. Wash my hands. All right. So basically... This is what you have. What some people like to do is kind of take it out and leave it like this. Clean this out of there. Okay. So now what we're going to do with this, we're going to add a little bit of air, my spray. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, um, some spray some olive oil on it. Now this thing is really good. Um, I'm going to put the link below. This is one of those Mistos. Uh, it's a different company. This one had really good reviews. Uh, it was 10 bucks. Basically, you just pour in 
olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, or whatever you want, and it'll, you pump it a couple of times, and it works. Ten dollars is really helpful. Anybody who has an air fryer, make sure you get this. Uh, do not use Pam on. I know in my previous videos when I was starting out, I used Pam, but if you want to um, save your air fryer and the uh, nonstick part of it, use uh, olive oil. And this this spritzer is excellent. Just pump it and it works. See right here. See. So what I usually like to do is kind of spray it over, and that's it. As a matter of fact, we can um, add a little bit of salt right away. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Again, I'm gonna put more later on, but just to start it. And then we're gonna put this in the oven, oh, I'm sorry, the air fryer for 376 minutes. Now let's go set up the, set up the claw. So basically right here, we got the steamer, well steam pot, two inches of water. I already added a little bit of salt. As a matter of fact, we add a little bit more. The salt in there. We got the cover here. Voila. Those of you know, this is our Italy pot. But you know how we do. We can use it for everything. Put that there. We're gonna. Don't forget to take off the rubber band. I forgot to do it last time. Take this off. Voila. Simple. Put it in there. Close. Now, some of you may want to boil it first before you put it in there. I just put it straight in there. Um, it's 145. We're going to put it for 15 minutes, and then we're going to take it out, and it'll be ready. For, for lobsters, when it turns red, as you can see right now, it's a different color. When this is done, it's going to, come, it's going to be red. When, when it's red, it's ready. That's, that's why lobster is so simple, easy to make. Uh, so we'll come back, then we'll start cooking. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So we got the air fryer ready. Again, this is the Kosori. Uh, this is one of the best top of the line air fryers you have right now. Amazon highest rated, 10,000 reviews. I'm going to put the link in the, in, in the bottom description as well. If you're interested, click on the link. Let me know if you have any questions about this air fryer. It's the best one I have, okay? So, uh, we got the, we, we prepped the tail. Uh, the temperature is ready for 370. We're going to put it for six minutes. Let's try six minutes. Uh, well, we'll go at seven minutes. Let's Okay, seven minutes, and um, as I always do, not that I need to because it's lobster, it's in the shell, so spray it a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the lobster, actually I don't even need the tongue, here we go, that's one tail, and that's another, oh, you can already hear it sizzle, it's very quick guys, just uh, seven minutes, 377, I'm probably going to take it out. After five minutes, add some butter, and then I will take it from there. Set it on. Uh, okay, let's do this again. It's 70. Temperature, 370. Seven minutes, play. Here we go. And uh, while, while I want you to come take a look at this real quickly. As I mentioned earlier, um, lobster, once it's red, it's pretty much ready. Let's take a look at it. Look at that, the color has changed. Wow. So I see some of the stuff is ooing out of the, the back because uh, we broke it from there, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to break this as well. So we're gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we'll take it out of there. Okay, so we're at the 14 minute mark. I'm gonna take this, let's take a look at this. I'm, I'm gonna take it out, uh, turn the fire off. Let's see what we have here. Voila, here we go, this looks ready. Uh, so basically this is just steaming it. Uh, you, you can boil lobsters, you can grill it, you can steam it and you can even do an air fryer. So let's see how this turned out. Uh, so there's a couple, I'm, I'm, I wanna try a couple of things. I actually looked at um, a video from uh, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, shout out to Chef Gordon Ramsay. Uh, so there's a couple of ways to do this. So first, I know it's hot, so I'm gonna uh, do it, uh, I guess the one of the traditional ways is um, you just wrap it in some sort of cloth. So this way when you break it, it doesn't um, explode anywhere. So you put it here and take something heavy. So what I found was this, the stone. It can't get heavier than this, guys. This, this is gonna work. I think you're supposed to use like a mallet or something. So just cover it, give it a couple of... Okay, I heard that. That's broken. I was gonna use the back of my cleaver, but I don't want to. This is my uh, favorite toy. 
Uh, I'm going to put a link for that too. That's really good if you guys are interested. Okay, so here's what we have. Let's see what we have here. It is hot and it's boiling. Okay, so now here we go. Let's take a look. Okay, we got that. This is going to be coming through. There you go. And now I'm going to show you an another trick that I learned. I'm saying that if you, if you kind of crack it over here at the top, and then you can literally just break this. Somehow. Oh, there you go. Now let's take this piece out. If it comes out, if it's going to behave, we're just going to go in here. Voila. It is hot. There it is, guys. Boom. There is your claw. Looking good? Now what we're gonna do is, oh, you hear that? So the claw is ready. Uh, now let's take a look at the air fryer. What we were all here for. Let's take a look. Da -da 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 -da. Woo, look at that bad boy. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Guys, you can't beat this. This looks straight out of the restaurant. Now what we're gonna do now is, we are going to take time. Let's, let's prep this bad boy first. Put this here. Put this right here. I know I said that I was going to add the garlic earlier, but um, it's already melted, so I don't have to. So this is basically just butter and garlic. Just mix it up and just uh, put it right over it. And uh, all right, we are ready to go. go and what I like to do is maybe squeeze a little bit of lemon voila there you go lobster tail put it on a plate we got one we got two okay and now I'm gonna add the claw put it together and then we're gonna try it out we'll be right back welcome back so just to wrap things up we steamed the claws and we air fried the tails everything is here came out perfect um, you know thank you to all the other other youtubers who who put their videos up it really helped me um, i kind of added my own own twist to it so only, only one thing left guys take a little piece oh yeah it's coming right out you see this dip it in that little that garlic and butter Oh, oh man, I'm sorry. That is amazing, amazing. Okay, wow. Everybody, please take a look at this recipe. Try it, comment below. Uh, if you have any questions or recommendations, let me know. This is great. Sunday, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Grandfathers, everybody. What else better to do on a Father's Day than to have some lobster at home? This is your boy Dave. I'm just Spice Garden here. Subscribe for better, better big videos. I'll see you soon. Broke it. Let's see if we got in here. Ooh, that's what we were looking for. There you go. Let's take this meat out. Hopefully it comes out, cooperates. Ooh, it is hot. There you go. Now we got the claw meat. 